Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Merry Christmas to everybody, and uh, we have a lot of great weather ahead here for the West with this major atmospheric river setup coming. Let's first go up to Loveland. Uh, they posted an awesome uh, video earlier um, of Santa skiing down. They're reporting about an inch and a half of new snow up there. It is going to be a windy day on the Continental Divide if you're going up there. Um, with some leftover snow showers, but we've got much bigger totals ahead. Um, let me just take you to my um, bullet points here. So we're still seeing some lake effect up in the northeast behind our big uh, blizzard that rolled through there with all that wind. Buffalo has been getting nailed up there. Out west, atmospheric river setup comes in 1227 through probably 1-3 with four to five distinct areas or waves of precip coming in. It's going to be like a fire hose of moisture. Each one of these lows will be juiced up as they hit the west coast with a little extra moisture. Um, you're going to have ore graphics and you're going to have moisture availability with all of this. And we're talking big totals of one to four feet across the west. That's not just on the coast. It's not just the Sierra. It's in the interior uh, Intermountain West as well. So. Um, we'll go through all of that. Let me just show you what I'm uh, what I'm looking at here on my blog. I posted this um, a little earlier this morning. Big totals ahead. Snow forecast through one three. Take a look at that. My take um, in the setup. Here's the setup. So the lime. When I use the lime on this, normally it, it's it's specifically for the atmospheric river. I mean, you can see it's starting to get juiced up coming. This is even reaching further west than Hawaii. So this is a true Pineapple Express setup. That's and, and the big low to initiate the whole thing is just getting ready to nail British Columbia and the Pacific Northwest, and then there are lows stacked up behind it. But you see the low moving through Montana. Um, that's what's bringing Colorado, the central and northern mountains of Colorado, the Tetons, uh, northwest Montana, northern Idaho, and B.C., Banff, some snow here on Christmas. Um, so back to the blog. Um, this is really interesting, um, looking at the intensity of this. How strong is it going to be? Well, the initial surge on 1227 is going to be It's going to be quite strong. It's going to be strong to extreme. Um, this is significant. Uh, normally it doesn't move out of the strong category. Um, the extreme category is, is you, we just don't see it very often. But the issue will be snow levels with this type of fire hose moisture, this warm Pineapple Express moisture coming off the Pacific. Snow levels are going to get pushed up. So we're going to have to watch those levels. But then it's a steady, it's a steady diet of just heavy precip. 29, 30, 31, 1, 2, and 3 with some weak impulses, weak low pressures, uh, weak atmospheric river contributions, but they're going to be present, which eat the, each of these lows coming in all the way through the third as it looks right now. So this is, this is shaping up to be quite a stretch. Let me show you what this looks like full here. I showed you this yesterday. This is today's update. Zoomed out, you're looking at the jet stream all the way back past Hawaii, west to east flow. So it's truly just a conveyor belt of moisture slamming it into the west coast and then it gets thrown into the interior states. And I'm, you know, Idaho, uh, the Tetons, the Wasatch, the western slope of Colorado, we're all going to get nailed with this type of uh, flow pattern. All right, so let's go back to the blog here and look at timing of all of this. So let me take this full future radar and satellite. Here's Monday morning at 6. Here's Tuesday morning, and here comes the initial surge. This is the big one. Um, and here it is Wednesday at 6, moves into the interior. Here's wave number 2 hitting the west coast on 1229. There's wave 3 on 1230. Um, and again, each of these is going to have a lot of moisture with it. The initial surge on 1227 will probably have the highest snow levels of all of them because of the extreme nature of that first surge, that first storm system. So in the Sierra, I have, I'm going to have to look at it. We'll do it for the next update as to what those levels are going to be. Is it going to be, you know, right at the Tahoe, Lake Tahoe level, sea level right there at Tahoe, lake level? Or is it going to be higher than that? You know, that's all, a lot of the times that's a key question. Will it be at lake level or is it going to be higher? So we'll look at that, I think, in the next update. Back to the blog here. Let's go through some of the totals. Do this in two phases for the West. So all of today through the 27th. Um, so you've got some light snow going on in the Tetons and in parts of Colorado and parts of Montana. 
you're seeing some of that reflected in the numbers, but you're also starting to see the surge on the 27th. Look at the numbers in the Sierra, one to two feet. Some of that gets blown. A little bit of it gets blown in early on the 27th, late on the 27th. It probably makes it into the Wasatch and the Tetons and Idaho. But at this point, most of it is across the West Coast. All right, so here's phase two. This is the big period, right? So all of the 28th through the 3rd. Um, another, and like I said, one to two feet in that first period in, in the Sierra, another probably two to three feet in this latter period, but this is all of the 28th through the 3rd. Look at the numbers in the Wasatch. In Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon, we could be talking about two to three feet of snow. Even Brian Head gets in on the action there. The Tetons could be looking at two to three feet of accumulation during that period. Good numbers through northern Idaho. Good numbers in the Pacific Northwest as well. In Colorado, we're going to see spillover moisture, so we're looking at the western slope getting the most. Um, I really like Aspen Snowmass, Crested Butte, Powderhorn down to Silverton, Wolf Creek, Telluride, Purgatory. All of those places are going to get nailed. The western slope will get nailed with that sort of overrunning atmospheric river type contribution. And again, that runs us 1228 through 13. What about the east, the northeast? I just don't see much. You know, JP probably gets the most, 1225 through 13. But everybody else that's light, the big action's out to the west. What you're seeing here is maybe a clipper come through. And what you don't see here is, is the lake effect snow that's going to be accumulating for another day. Um, so there you go. That's going to run us all the way out through the third of the new year. We've got a lot to look forward to out west. And again, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Merry Christmas.